Now, I said that Wikipedia has a very nice page that mentions all the types of hands, and it also gives the percentages for each hand. That is, out of all the possible poker hands, what percentage are a straight flush, four of a kind, full house, and so on. So here's the percentages. We see that about half the hands uh, don't have anything. They're just a high card with no pairs or anything else. And then 42% uh, are pairs, and then less for, for each of those. And we see the percentages align with the actual poker values. That is, the uh, most rare hand, the straight flush, is the highest ranking. The next most rare hand, four of a kind, is the next highest ranking. And the most common is the least highest. So that makes sense. Poker is a sensible game from the point of view of probability. Now, one thing we can do is see if we can duplicate this type of table. That is, can we test our routines and make sure uh, we've, we've got it right in that we identify straight flushes, high cards, and everything else the correct number of times? So what we're going to do is come up with a program that randomly generates uh, decks or deals from the deck and then checks to see uh, what kind it is and check to see if we can reproduce this probability table. So we're going to look at random deal percentages. And first we're going to have a quiz. So say we want to uh, deal out a random number of hands and then count how many of each type we have and then come up with that table like we just saw from Wikipedia. And the question is about how many hands should we deal out to get a good estimate of the probabilities? That is, we're not going to get the exact estimate, but we want to get some estimates that are close to the right probabilities. And the more we sample, the, the closer we'll get. Should we look at about 52 hands, about 50,000 hands, 700,000 hands, or about 52 factorial hands. And then I also want you to answer why. So one per card, or do we need about a thousand per card so that the uh, random variations are evened out? Or do we need about 10 for least common hand, least common ranking? Or do we need one for each of the possible permutations of everything that came out can, that came out of the deck.